you're building a complicated financial model with a lot of different named ranges and hard-coded assumptions and formulas, there's a lot of things that can go wrong, especially if you're sharing that model with a lot of different people. So one of the keys that can really save you is F5. Now the first thing that F5 does is if you hit the F5 key, then it will take you either to any cell you want. You can type in a cell, so let's say H10, and it will take you right to that cell. It also allows you to go to a specific named range. There we go. The other cool thing that F5 does is if you want to see the source data for any cell that it has a formula, you can hit Control, Open Bracket, and it will go to the sheet or wherever that data is stored. And if you hit F5 after that, okay, it will return you back to where you came from. The F5 key can be very helpful in just going to any named range or any cell and also returning after looking at where the data comes from in a cell. But there's even a better use of the F5 key. One of the worst things that can happen in a model is that someone will go into it and hard code a number over a formula. So if I have a spreadsheet that I'm either sharing with people and I don't want people to mess it up or that I get from someone else and I want to know where the hard-coded values are and where the formulas are, I can just hit F5 and hit Special, Constants, and only select Numbers, OK, and all of the hard-coded values will be highlighted. And I can just change the color of those and maybe bold those cells. And that way, when I'm working in this spreadsheet or when someone else is working in my spreadsheet, they know to only hard code numbers where the blue text is and anything else will be formulas. And that's it. That one key, F5, can help you get to your named ranges and return you to the cells that you're auditing and also allowing you to highlight hard coded values. Don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks.